In this video, you will be learning about JSON processing in Talent. We will start using a JSON file as an input and we'll also create a metadata and we will try to extract the fields from the JSON input. All right, let's look at the sample file that I have. As you can see here, uh, this is a JSON file. Uh, this entire thing is called a JSON object and in that object, um, the results is at the root node and everything else inside is an element so if you see this is the first element and second element and the third element and each element will have a key value pair uh, wherein uh, the left hand side is a key and the right hand side value is uh, the value for that particular uh, key and the value can be either integer or any string data type and um, Next, as you can see here, we see a square bracket, which means um, books is an array of three elements. One, two, three. Three elements are uh, bundled in this um, in this node. And in order to extract any data uh, from these elements, we will have to parse starting from the root dot, then the next element and the next um, the actual element that you want to uh, extract. All right, I have got a helpful website here uh, that I wanted to show you. Uh, basically, I'm taking the same uh, JSON and I'm logging on to the jsonpathfinder.com and I have pasted uh, the same JSON on the left hand side. So this will help me uh, identify the actual path that is required to extract any of the data points inside this JSON. All right, let's uh, click on next here. All right, on the right hand side, you will see something called as result, which is our uh, root node. When you expand this root node, you will be able to see the first um, uh, key value pair. And the next set is the books. Under books, you should be able to see three records and expand it further. And you can click on rank and this will show what is the X path or the JSON path that is required to extract this value. When you click on publisher, uh, you get a different um, JSON path um, to extract this particular values for each of the element. And the uh, value zero indicates the first element of the array. And accordingly, you can, if you want to retrieve the second row element, all you have to pass is one and two for uh, the third element. All right, let's get started with uh, the talent here. I have opened up uh, the talent studio and I have this uh, job open. So this uh, job is created to demonstrate the JSON input extract and output to the console. All right, I, we'll have three uh, different examples here. The first one, I'll start using a JSON input file and then print the uh, data to the console. So in order to do that, um, from your palette, you can go to the file and under that you should be able to find the file input JSON uh, drag it to the design area or you can just type in um, T file input JSON uh, directly on the console uh, on the job design area you will be able to get this once you have this um, we will have to uh, first get the file name all right I have a sample uh, JSON file here in this input folder Let's go ahead and click on that. Uh, this is the same file that we saw it on the notepad. All right, I'll open this. And uh, as you can see, we have set the uh, file name now. The next thing is uh, to extract, to pass this um, query, JSON query, uh, so that we can extract uh, the values from the JSON. As we have seen here, so first we need to pass our results and then the books. Right, so what we will do, uh, we'll copy this, we'll come back to the talent job, and this requires dollar dot is the actual syntax, and under that we're calling the root node and then the child node, and we want to extract all the data here, so we'll put star. Right, uh, so now uh, we are ready with our uh, JSON loop element. Uh, this is basically the JSON query, uh, the query is ready. And we'll create a couple of uh, columns here. Now we'll create the schema. Uh, click on edit schema and we'll create three columns. 
and first I would like to print the title and then you can print uh, the author and probably you can print uh, the price uh, with these three values click OK and here on the JSON query side uh, now that we have already uh, provided our loop path um, next thing is to provide the JSON query for each of these items we will just type in uh, As you can see in the file, um, our uh, query uh, to extract this um, these three fields is title, author, and then the price. All right, let's go back to our talent. So now that we have set uh, the input file, we have set our uh, the loop JSON query and then the respective columns from the JSON input. Uh, now we will connect this output to the console using a T log row. So T log row will basically print uh, all the three columns that are coming from our input uh, uh, schema. So let's go ahead and create on table so that it's easy to view. And if you can see the schema, uh, it is title, author, and price. So now we have set this uh, T log row. Click on run and go ahead and click on run. All right, now as you can see, uh, we have included title, author, and price. All the three records uh, we are able to successfully retrieve from the JSON input file to our console. All right, let's move on to the second example. Uh, let me go ahead and deactivate this current sub job so that it doesn't run with our second one. All right, so we will use uh, the JSON file as is uh, as an object, uh, as an entire object from the input uh, file delimited and then we will apply the JSON extract field uh, component and then we'll print the um, output. So for that I will go ahead and drag the file input delimited and uh, on the component section uh, we will choose this file And here, uh, the catch here is uh, we want to read this entire um, column, uh, entire JSON object as an object inside Talon. So just create one column with the type as object. Click OK. And uh, row separator, we don't want to give the row separator because it's an entire object. And the field separator, it doesn't matter. And there are no headers in the file, so we'll just leave it as is. And then we will connect uh, to the JSON file extractor, JSON field extractor. All right, so this is the component. Um, the T extract JSON fields. We'll make use of this and we'll connect here. All right, now uh, we have read that entire file as an object in this T input file delimited. And here in this component, we will specify um, the JSON path query. Um, so, which is in our case results dot books and all the elements, right? And we'll create uh, the columns. So, input is only one, but uh, on the output side, on the JSON output file fields, uh, we will be creating. Uh, let's say we will create four. We'll extract rank, we'll extract the title, author, and then the price. Alright, now we have created this. Uh, the JSON path query is already uh, placed. We'll pass the fields. Go ahead and title and write uh, the author is our third column our fourth column is the price all right so now we have set uh, the extract json fields uh, uh, options now let's connect this to uh, t log row all right so now we will print it as a table so that it's easy to read and then we'll do a sync column and then let's verify okay all the four columns are 
present now all right go ahead and save the job and execute it clear and then let's execute this job so what happens now is that entire file is read as uh, input as an object and we are extracting those um, four columns uh, rank title author and price and then we are printing it on the console and instead of this logro you can point it to a different file or a database object um, you can write it into mysql table or any other uh, database table uh, that way uh, you can uh, reuse this all right so let's uh, look at the second next example so for that i'll go ahead and disable this flow all right in the third example uh, we want to create one json metadata so that we don't um, uh, pass the hardcoded values so in order to do that um, on your left hand side click uh, on the metadata and under that you should be able to see a file json all right so just right click on uh, this file json create a json we just quickly give some name um, books and we'll use this as an input so uh, we'll leave this option as is click next and we will browse the file okay now we have browsed the file and encoding uh, you should always put it as an utf8 this also covers the international uh, standard or special characters as well so we'll leave it as is and under that uh, you can see that schema viewer uh, you have the root element and under that you have a books node and under that you have all these uh, different values uh, that we wanted to extract so click next all right now uh, there are separate sections here three different section uh, this is the source schema this exactly shows uh, based on your input file and there's a section for um, path loop expression and fields to extract so loop expression is nothing but uh, we need to set um, since this is an array um, we want to set books as a uh, loop uh, element so that for every record um, the loop will be executed uh, to extract element values so just uh, drag and drop under path loop element and uh, the rest of the things you can um, drag it into the fields to extract so once this is done you can click on refresh preview which will show you uh, the exact values uh, coming from our import json file all right click next and we'll give some name books and we'll save it so the length uh, is automatically determined based on the first 100 uh, data elements uh, so we don't have to change anything if you foresee any feature changes with a higher number of um, length you may want to set that here otherwise uh, just click on next and finish all right so we have created this um, metadata now everything is standardized um, even if you change your environment or change the file name uh, you should be able to um, pretty much reuse the metadata just drag it to your design workspace and we'll use this as an file input json all right so as you can see here um, property type and uh, yeah property this is how it, it was uh, property type and schema they are all repository based which we just pulled from the metadata so nothing is built in uh, if uh, structure changes uh, it, it is automatically reflected in all the jobs and as you can see the same um, query is already um, copied over and all the columns are available so we'll connect this with a uh, T log row all right so here again we'll print it as a table we'll sync the column we'll verify okay i have all the terms available all right let's go ahead and clear all right as you can see um, there are three records uh, under books so all the three records are read and then printed on the console 
all right this is how uh, you can make use of uh, the json file directly or you can use it as an uh, input file uh, with an object in the second example in the third example we have created a json metadata and then we are using that metadata to uh, read data and then print it on the console as i said in the previous example uh, this output can be used to connect to any files or any database or whatever uh, is your requirement i hope it's clear and uh, liked it thank you